What's going on everybody, Stabs here, welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, today I'm actually going to be talking a little bit about, you know, um, my thoughts on this new Call of Duty and what's been going on with it. But um, before I even get any further, I am still a little sick. I've been sick for like a week, week and a half now. So uh, if my voice does sound a little, um, you know, raspy, stuff like that, I am still sick, so try and bear with me. But um, today I just want to talk about to you, with you guys uh, basically why... I just don't upload anymore and why I just don't play this game anymore and uh, you guys are actually seeing gameplay from I believe like last week maybe uh, I'm not sure if it's recorded with the HTTP VR or HTTP VR yeah HTTP VR 2 that I had before or the new capture card that I have so um, it, it does look like it now that I'm actually thinking about it it looks a lot clearer so quality on this one is clear I told you guys I got a new capture card and uh, it's been working out pretty good so um, like I've been talking about, I haven't really been playing Call of Duty at all lately. Like, I think it's been literally um, maybe a week, week and a half since I've even turned on my Xbox. And um, the main reason for that is just that I feel like Call of Duty is honestly dying. And it's honestly really, really sad for me to say that because it's, you know, it's something that I've played ever since I was a little kid. It's something that I played growing up. And I'm actually, like, getting sad talk, quite, uh, talking about this a little bit, if I could even talk. Um, I'm getting sad talking about this just because, like, I'm thinking about all the times that I've spent playing this game and, you know, playing it with kids and meeting new people, playing it with Mondi, Kills, and, um, For Life, Rex, he doesn't even play anymore, he's gone, you guys know that. He, I'm, we're all basically turning into him. And, um, you know, it, I just, I hate to say it. But none of us have played any Call of Duty seriously since the beginning of Black Ops 3, maybe until halfway of Black Ops 3. Ever since then, we've all just found, like, the fire burning out. And I don't know if it's just... Honestly, I think it's just because they've been releasing games that nobody's really liked. Like, the developers just haven't been listening to uh, the players and anything like that. And especially... Ever since Infinite Warfare came out, our you know our urge to just play like get home, play Call of Duty, play together, it's just died. And um, now that I'm thinking about it, you know it's just sad because me, Mondi, kills we used to come home, play Xbox. I remember in um, Advanced Warfare, that's where we played the most. Uh, we used to get home, we used to play like at sometimes 13, 14, 15 hours a day, playing wagers and you know just regular team and two v twos. And, you know, just staying on Xbox, you know, just grinding out the game. And, uh, you know, that's probably where we're at our highest point. But right now, you know, fast forward two years later, um, we went through Black Ops 3. That's probably the game where I played the least amount of, you know, competitive matches. I just focused mainly on my channel on that game, which um, I did do a pretty good job. Could have done a lot better. But, um, you know, that's for the first half of the game. Then the second half... Um, that's where the game started getting, you know, that, that all those games getting annoying now, so people stopped playing it, and, um, we didn't really focus too much on competitive, so, that's where competitive basically started going out the window for us, and, uh, and then an Infinite Warfare came out, and now this game, I'm telling you guys, you guys obviously know this game because you guys play it, you've seen somebody play it, there's a lot of people I know that haven't even bought the game yet, there's a lot of people that brought it back, um, this game has just ruined Call of Duty for a lot of people, and it's just safe to say that if the next Call of Duty isn't anything, you know, playable, then I know for a fact that Call of Duty is going to start going down the drain, like, instantly. And, um, you know, this game's already started making Call of Duty a bad name because people think it's awful. Even in this game alone, there's people playing with fucking lasers, people shooting lasers, fucking deployable shields, black fucking holes. Sorry for, like, cursing a lot right there, but this is the shit that shouldn't be... In Call of Duty. Call of Duty should be basic. Like, if you guys honestly ask me, Black Ops 3 was a perfect game. The only thing that ruined that game was wall running. If wall running, running wasn't in that game, it would have been a perfect game. I didn't really mind the boosters too much either way because you couldn't really run too far or jump too far in that game either way. But, you know, safe to say that's probably one of the best games I've ever played in my life. If there wasn't wall running, it would have been an amazing game. And then we get to Infinite Warfare, people are shooting lasers, they're throwing black holes, there's wall running still, there's boosters again, but I don't really mind the boosters because you can't really go too far, but you know, it's just stupid things like that that are just ruining this game, 
in every other game since, you know, it's been happening. So, like, I don't know how much longer we could possibly play this game without, you know, because you guys obviously know us. We used to try and, you know, make a name for ourselves in this game and, you know, try obviously our best. We used to play, like I said, 13, 14, 15 hours a day. And we just can't continue playing if we don't enjoy the game. And at this point, if we don't play the game, which we haven't been having fun doing, um, you're just wasting your own time. So I don't know if you guys have actually heard the quote. It's uh, it's something like, "I'll stop, I'll stop when I when I stop having fun," and that literally explains our situation perfectly because all of us have stopped playing because we just don't have fun playing Call of Duty anymore. Like we just can't find the drive to get on every day and just play this game together. Uh, we probably played like three competitive matches in this game together and that's about it uh, Maybe have at least Or maximum 12 hours played on this game so far. It's been out for almost a couple months already, which is horrible horrible um, My channel with this game has completely gone down the drain and You guys know that for a fact because I've only uploaded maybe like a couple videos since this game has came out I don't enjoy playing this game. I can't play this game and I'm just going to let you guys know right now that if the next Call of Duty isn't anything good, anything playable, we might not even buy it. And Call of Duty is going to go down this drain, so is my channel. And I have a lot of people in school ask me, yo, what's going on with your channel and stuff like that, you know. Um, why aren't you uploading it? And I literally tell them, I just can't play this game. And a lot of people in my school, even those people that haven't played um, Call of Duty as seriously and as long as me, they know that something's wrong because if you I was actually telling my friend this um I told him I just can't play this game anymore and he literally told me you know something's wrong with the game when when I'm not playing it and you guys know I've been playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2 it's the first game I bought it's the first game I fell in love with and ever since you know we just got stuck to the series and whatever but it's just really really hard to play a game when you don't enjoy it and especially hard for me as a you know on YouTube if I can't play a game, get content, enjoy it, and upload it so you guys can see. So my channel has gone completely down the drain. Um, in Black Ops 3, it was probably my peak. I was gaining at least 300 to 350 subscribers a month at one point. I was gaining at least 200 views a day, um, which was wonderful. 350 subscribers a day, that would have been good. If I kept at it, um, probably somewhere at like 600 subscribers a month, maybe even more. You guys have no idea. You know, you never know what could happen. But, um... You know, just Call of Duty changes that, and I just can't physically play this game and not have fun with it. So, you know, I'm I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for a shitty game that's been published by Infinity Ward. Um, it's just you. Nobody can play this game. You guys even hear pro players complain about it, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. So, um, that's what I have to say about this game. I uh, hope you guys can understand. I know a lot of you guys can actually relate to this situation. And uh, if you guys actually stayed until the end of this video, um, please let me know in the comments so I actually know uh, which of you guys, which of my subscribers are actually loyal enough to stay to this end and actually care about my situations and stuff like that. But um, I'm really, really trying to actually play this game as much as I possibly can. It's just making it really, really hard for me when you don't have any drive to actually play the game. So, um kind of just babbled on for I believe like eight minutes 50 seconds so um like I said I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from I know a lot of you guys can relate to me because you guys don't touch this game everybody thinks this game is just god-awful and um if the next developer I'm not even sure who's making the game um if they don't get this game back on track Call of Duty is going to die 100% so um like I've said again for the third time now, thanks for those of you guys that actually did stay until the end of this video. Uh, you know, it's just hard for me to stay back and just watch my channel basically go into the ground because I can't play the games that I love. But I um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please like to come subscribe. Follow me on social media links down in the description below, guys. And uh, I'm trying to, you know, stay positive about this game. I just physically can't. And, you know, it's, it's just really, really hard for me to create any content whatsoever. So, I'm going to try and see whatever you guys want me to start uploading. Maybe different games or maybe different series. I'm trying to upload a lot of vlogs with Mwendi Kills for Life and Rex, whatever. Uh, kills Ariton Triton. 
and whatever, that's their names. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Peace out.